Hello everyone. Um, this is Giorgio. Thank you so much for watching my videos first of all. And today I will be reacting to Malta's song that is called Loop and it's performed by Sara Bonici. Um, I really didn't like the song in the auditions. In my top it was pretty last. But yesterday I really liked it. Live it was good. But yeah, let's just see again the live performance and I will comment about the, the performance later. So it's Sara Bonici with the song Loop for Malta. Okay, I love this intro. Ooh, the camera shots are so good, like the fall here. Food, oh, I like it. Oh. I really love this part. She can dance, yeah. I don't like a bit the dances that they, this choker they have here, it's a bit weird. And like, I'm so sick of this outfit that she's wearing. Like, I. Can people, like, the woman change, like, and wear something more, like, creative and unique or like something new I really like this chunk it was so good I feel a bit the vocals are a bit weak or it's supposed to be sung like that or it's the sound that makes it like that I really like this part so much but I would prefer something like a bit more with the eyes closed it would be more Okay, so this part reminds me so much of slow-mo and the shot with her legs down. Like that reminded me of Unicorn Dance Break. I don't know. I like it, but at the same time... Okay, this high note wasn't that smooth. Yeah, I like it so much that it's so dancey and it can do really well in Eurovision. Okay, this part reminds me so much of slow mo, like, come on. Okay, Malta. It was a good entry, to be honest. Of course, Sanel didn't invent those moves, but. It just gives the whole vibe Sanel and the dance break reminds me so much of Sanel's dance break and also Unicorn a bit. The part that I really enjoyed was the pre-chorus and also I really liked a lot when they close the eyes and they flip here around, that was so good, but I would prefer something a bit more there, like to do something more so like they can have the audience like to get it excited, the audience, because that was great, 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 and it's so original, but um, I feel like it can be better, like it can be improved, so it can last longer, that's what I'm saying, so you can impress more the, the public, like longer, it would be better, like if it had like three more moves, yeah, I would prefer it more like that. To be honest, I feel like we will get a revamp for Malta, because Almost every year they revamp the song and sometimes even change the song. I don't think they will change the song. Loop is really good and it was a great choice for Eurovision. I feel like it can qualify it in the week semi-final. And yeah, I like it. It's a pretty good choice. Her vocals were actually good, but I would prefer a bit more of a support from the back vocalists. Um, it was pretty good, to be honest, for that staging because Malta didn't have like an arena, so it could look like a professional one. It was just a studio staging, like like nothing. The only thing that I would change would be add some more seconds in that part uh, in the breakdowns that they closed her eyes and they flip her around. I would prefer some. I would prefer some more like moves there, like two three seconds longer so you can like have the audience like more excited the dance break was good but i would prefer something like more original in the dance moves because we already saw it of course you can send it no one will say anything but it would be like more something to have something new 
I really liked it. I hope uh, Sara Bonizzi, best of luck. Uh, it was a well-deserved victory. Malta can really do well and they can finally qualify. I don't know how well it can do, but it can really like give Malta a good result after so many non-qualifications, so many after 2021. Yeah, thank you so much for watching once again. Tell me what do you think about the song in the comments, if you like the performance, where do you think Malta will place in Eurovision, if they have chances to qualify. Um, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, like this video. Um, you can also PayPal me, buy me a coffee if you enjoy my work. Thank you so much for watching once again. Goodbye.